Another late, late goal between these two sides and victory for Sheffield Wednesday. How did that feel to win it late here tonight? Paul will be fed up with the sight of us, I think, um, with that. I mean, it's a great feeling. There's no better feeling in the world with that type of thing, whether you're a supporter, a player or a, or a coach. Um, and then on the boot on the other foot, it's the worst feeling in the world. So uh, I've got a lot of sympathy for Paul. I've got a, a lot of respect for their staff and that. So I understand that situation. But ultimately, we came here to win the game. We've won the game. Um, I thought early doors, we struggled a little bit. We had a lot. Of, I asked them for aggression, energy, and uh, be up for the fight of a of a local derby. They put out the first team, their first choice team. Um, so I, I thought it was going to be a tough one, especially early doors. They'd have been up for it. Our boys again that played tonight. I've not had that ten minutes, so we had to weather a bit of a storm. I thought first 15 minutes it would take us, but unfortunately it took us 25, 30 minutes to get going. But at least then we started to put our foot on the ball, started to make some passes, and. Um, uh, had a little bit more joy, but I was happy to get to half time at 0 0. And then I knew we had uh, guys on the bench that could come on and, and, and help us. Certainly, that was the case in, in the second half. That's when you really sort of moved ahead of Rotherham, then, didn't you, when Bannon, etc., came on? Well, the tempo that Rotherham play at, that Paul's got them playing at, is, is, is relentless. And, it, and it's, I think even the best team in the world wouldn't be able to keep that up for that space of time. So for us to, as I say, stand up to that, start to play a little bit of football later on in the first half, and then I thought second half it was a lot better. Um, but then having the opportunity when maybe they are starting to tie, tie up a little bit, to be able to bring Forestieri and Bannon and Kadim Harris on, then it definitely would give any team a spark. And your reward for this uh, victory is Everton at home in the next round. Take on that draw. I think the most important thing is a home draw uh, in any cup competition, but to get one of the big boys uh, back at Hillsborough, there's nothing better. I mean, I think I remember a little one against, I think it was Arsenal not that long ago, that was a, it was a nice atmosphere, a nice time, so it'd be nice to replicate that, but ultimately a home draw is so, so important, I think, and um, hey, it's something for the players to look forward to now. Um, but. Let's focus on QPR first. Uh, the, the fans had a first look at uh, Bates today. How do you feel he did? I thought he did great. I thought first 10, 15 minutes, yeah. I think um, he did his defensive duties in a more agricultural type of style. Um, but after that, sort of first 20 minutes, he started to show as a, he grew into the game, started to make some great passes into midfield, into strikers. He stood up to the battle, which was great because their three strikers are big, powerful, strong, quick players. And I thought Batesy handled that side of it brilliantly. As the game went on, he showed his other qualities and passing out from the back and um, starting off attacks and everything like that. So I was very pleased for him. He's got some bumps, some scratches, some sore heads and everything like that. So that's, for me, that makes it even better. To give a little bit of football to players that either hadn't started or hadn't played much, where do you see the likes of Luongo now, etc., in, in getting into the swing of things at well, this point? knocking on the door, aren't they? Absolutely knocking on the door. With that sort of work ethic and, and uh, desire that they've shown tonight, especially in spells when we were under the cosh, um, that can only, can only be good. So it makes my job more difficult, but that's a better option to have than making it easy because obviously maybe some players aren't performing. I'd rather make it, uh, I'd rather it was made difficult. So I'm very, very pleased. Listen, it was a bit of a gamble, of course, to make nine changes, especially after the result of the weekend. So I know, I know we sort of brought a little bit of pressure on ourselves if we, if we hadn't got the result, but in the end, we've got the result. Sometimes you've got to be brave in decisions like that. That's part and parcel of the job you've got to make. And I was looking at it from a bigger picture point of view and ensuring that people like Bates and Luongo, Nuyu, Rhodes, they get minutes under their belts. Uh, and I'm delighted to say we were proved right in the end.